Gregory is currently reading a fantasy novel. The ratio of the number of pages he has read to the number of pages he has not read is 1 is to 4. If he reads another 176 pages, the number of pages he has read will become 80% of the number of pages he has not read. How many pages does Gregory's novel consist of? Now, in order to do this question, we need to identify what is the concept, what is the technique that we are working with. All right. Now, the technique that we are working with in this question is a total unchanged concept. Why is that so? Because when you add the pages read plus the pages that is unread, this will always remain the same because the number of pages in the book cannot change. Okay, let's say, for example, the book has 100 pages. And you have read 10 pages. So unread will be 90 pages, right? Now let's say the next day you increase your reading and in total you have read 30 pages. Unread will then be 70 pages. Okay, the total must always remain the same because you have the same book. You didn't remove any pages, right? You didn't insert any new pages as well. Okay, so how do we tackle this question is we can actually draw a BCA table for ourselves before change and after table. Okay, now the before case we can have these two columns as well for the BCA table. And for the before case, right, we know that the number of pages he has read to the number of pages he has not read is 1 is to 4. So it's 1 unit, 4 units here. Alright, and since we know the total is the same, we need to write or develop for ourselves a total column as well, which will be 5 units here at the start. Now, if he reads another 176 pages, that means, what does that mean? That means that I'm adding 176 pages here for the read portion. Which means what? The unread will be taking away 176 pages. Okay, if you're not sure, have a look at this example on the right side, okay? Early on, if you read 10 pages, unread is 90, right? Because total is 100 pages for this example book. Let's say you read 20 pages, huh? 20 pages more. What happens to the unread? Unread will reduce by 20. As you can see here. Alright, why? Because the total is the same. So in the end, what's happening is that the number of pages he has read will become 80% of the number of pages he has not read. So what is 80%? Change it into a fraction. 80 over 100. This is 4 over 5. So in the end, right? Four parts will be read. Out of five, this will be unread. Okay, again. Huh? The number of pages he has read will become four-fifth of the number of pages he has not read. So four will belong to read and unread will be five, as we can see here. So what we'll do is we'll put four parts here and we'll put five parts here and the total will now be nine parts. All right. So since we know the total is the same, we cannot allow this number and this number to be different. It has to be the same. So 5 and 9, we can push it to 45. So times 9 at the top. 45 units. 4 times 9 as well. That's 36. 1 times 9, 9 units. And for the bottom, we times 5. So we get 45. We can change to units for everything now. Since we have made the total the same, so this is 25U, 20U. Ah, now, as can be clearly seen, observe the red. It went from 9 to 20. There's an increase of 11 units. Unread 36 to 25. There is a decrease of 11 units. 
So 20U minus 9U, that is 11 units. 11 units will be equals to 176 pages. You can find one unit, 176 divided by 11. pages okay question is how many pages does Gregory's novel consist of that's a total total 45 units okay so 45 u 16 times 45 wow 720 pages very very thick book he's reading probably one of those Harry Potter series books Okay, so final answer, 7 to 0 pages.